Gary, what about these stats out today that 49%, so half of all defence companies, can't find and then can't retain staff? We saw last week uh, the British Army chief saying, look, things are pretty grim. We're going to have to start training up civilians for combat amid fears of a war with Russia. Now, I know we're talking about 1939 sort of climate in Europe. It feels like that. Do you reckon it's time to bring back national service, perhaps? Well, look, I, I don't know about that, Peter, but America's got the same problem where they've had, which is what we've got. Uh, the bureaucracy is all about diversity, inclusion, uh, you know, and all of these sort of equity measures. And so the whole esprit de corps of defence is under, under real challenge. It's almost a case now that if you're at the pointy end of a conflict, you've got to ring somebody up and say, do you mind if I invade your village? Do you mind if I come and uh, perhaps shoot you? Do you mind if it's OK, if it's convenient, I'll bomb you at four o'clock this afternoon? These are the sorts of rules of engagement that have just driven a lot of people completely barking mad uh, and, and getting them out. And so... Uh, and also in America, the same as here, they want to have people with university degrees coming into the Defence Force. And so they're, they're, now they're saying mm. maybe people who haven't even finished high school might be the people. You know, Peter, we need kids to actually feel excited about being part of our Defence Force. And so starting at school, giving them the opportunity, joining uh, the sort of uh, units that they used to always have at schools, they don't have a lot of them now because mm. teachers yeah. are saying defence is bad, police is bad. All of these things are all driving people away from even thinking about it. And defence used to be at the heart of our training of people into trade skills. So we need people who can do stuff. Sure, we need some smarts because there's a lot of technology, but if we don't get this, we don't actually understand that not everyone's going to work at Russell offices. They're actually going to be at the pointy end and we need them there. We've got to actually encourage those sorts of people into the defence force and feel confident that the senior leadership's there. But I'm not convinced from the head of the Defence Force down that that's the message that's being given out. So conscription, what, you're going to force them to come and join? What is more about no, diversity, no, 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 equity, no, no. National inclusion service. than it is about defence? National service is no, not conscription. No, nation, national nation, service is not conscription. Well, national service, uh, uh, either, either, way, either way, people are not going to be excited about it unless there's a reason to be there, Peter. And right now... The yeah, but why don't we hang on, hang on, hang on. Why don't we have a GI Bill, mate? Why don't we have the GI Bill that they have in the United States where if you go in and sign up for four years, we'll then pay as taxpayers your higher education or your trade, right? You give four years to your country, we... your country will, will make you a plumber, will make you a uni student, whatever. Um, they have a much better way into the military than we do in Australia. We sort of ask around it, but we don't do it as comprehensively as the US do. Actually, I want to pick that up tomorrow night. Uh, just quickly, I've got to ask you if I can, I Keith. Agree. Rip Curl. I agree. I mentioned this at the top. Rip Curl's in trouble. They had an ad promoting oh. women surfing, oh. Oh. featuring a transgender surfer, woman, but you know, obviously a biological man. A whole lot of the women were upset about this, the female surfers. They said, what about us? And one of them, in fact, Bethany Hamilton, as she was dropped a few months ago by Rip Curl because she voiced her opposition to men in women's sports. Well, they've dropped it now. But why do they have to blood nose women's sport like this, Keith? No. <laughs> Peter, I might not know a lot, but if you knock out 99.99% .99 of the people you're trying to sell your product to, well, they're not going to buy it. Yep. Uh, if you're trying to sell go woke, you know, go women's broke. bikinis, women's <laughs> swimwear, everything else, uh, and you're targeting them through uh, what's a... It's a man, right? Uh, let's be really frank. Uh, a man in women's outfits, well, that ain't going to fly. Uh, and I think that the, no, they're no. absolutely right to be upset about this. Absolutely right. Yep. Got to go. Got to go, gents. Love it as always. Keith and Gary, thank you.